uh, chemist warehouse here. It's not far from where I'm staying. And I just want to get some uh, ointment. And I'm uh, just waiting forever at the, down where the chemists are. Just very slack compared to Cairns, uh, down Kent near Cairns Central. They're really spot on. It's a bit more like a factory there. It's a nicer atmosphere in that chemist warehouse. But gee, they're slack serving people. That was the... Uh, the place where you, you, you uh, lodge your subscription, there's just no one serving. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more relaxed today because I, uh, I bit the bullet and just changed my flight to tomorrow as opposed to next uh, Tuesday. Um, even though, and I was still hanging off to see how it's, uh, Karen was going with the COVID thing. She's got a trace of it apparently in the RAT test. And the RAT tests aren't that accurate anyway, that's another thing. So, Maybe not going up there. I mean, it's mainly because it's just a logistical hassle. I've just had a. It hasn't gone the way I'd hoped this trip, so uh, I'm not in a great mood right now. I want to go home. I feel homesick. But uh, if I go up there and uh, and say she has still got a bit of the COVID, well, if I cop it, I, I then might be quarantined uh, down here, and I don't really want to do that. So. Uh, uh, it's highly unlikely, but uh, it's a shame. I'd like to, I really want to catch up with them, but uh, you know, because I got a, I got a bit of a dud uh, accommodation here compared to what I was expecting. Uh, you know, it's just it's been a bit of a downer all round. The only good thing is I've caught up with Steve, and he's got a really good group of friends he drinks with. Boy, he can pack it away. I'm, I've had a couple of sessions with him and already I'm starting to feel the after effects. So I haven't got the stamina of him. But, uh, yeah, but the people he knows, they're, they're nice guys. It's been, uh, been a good experience in that respect. So that's good. It hasn't been a total dud. But, uh, yeah, just things my luck has been uh, hasn't been the greatest on this trip uh, today I found out my bloody computer doesn't uh, uh, hasn't got proper um, windows it's actually I need to do a proper activation and I bought that under the assumption it was a new computer I did buy it through eBay and I thought well you should be getting bona fide software but apparently not so that's just another pain in the ass it just means I can't get the uh, the virus protection, the Microsoft virus protection. I put on a, a free one uh, just to make up for it, but you don't want to have your computer without any virus protection. Another little downside today is I wanted to upload a, uh, a YouTube video, but uh, the connection they've got there is Dodo, and it's okay for downloads, but it's terrible for uploads. It's, the upload speed's abysmal. Just not adequate for... Uh, for doing YouTube uploads, so that's another negative. But uh, there's someone actually um, moving in tomorrow, so I've got to be out there by 10 apparently. They say 11, they said 11 originally, but now they've changed it to 10, so that's not great either. But I'll be happy to get out of here and get straight to the airport. I don't mind hanging around the airport for a few hours if I have to. Uh, at least I know I'm getting closer to home, and that's the good thing. Uh, so by tomorrow afternoon, late afternoon, five o'clock, I'll probably get an Uber, so it won't may not be that late. I might get uh, might get home at four five, and uh, yeah, I'll be back back in uh, Kiwara Beach, and I'd be very happy for that because I don't know big cities like this with all this traffic and noise and pollution. I don't know, it doesn't, it's not doing much for me right now. Um, that's Pavilion 3, isn't it? Yeah. That's where I'm staying. That's the entrance, Pavilion 3. So... Yeah. Yeah, I just have a wander down the road seeing I've gone out. I haven't been out yet today. And I was a bit reticent to catch up with uh, Steve tonight because I didn't feel great when I woke up, but I'm feeling a bit better now. And I was a bit, had a bit too much to drink last night. And I'll just have to, uh, to just be very cautious if I catch up with him for a drink tonight. I think I will be my last chance to see him for some time. And I don't know when I'm going to be back down here. Um, 
just no idea. But uh, yeah, my lust for travel certainly dissipated a bit. So maybe I just I just want it uh, to all go my own way and uh, get, my, get to that age. This is the way into the city, uh, just past where the hairdressers were when you saw it. Left um, Balmain back there, and now this is south of uh, Brisbane, so fairly artsy fartsy area, I can gather. And uh, hospital over there, by looks of things. And I'm not sure what's ahead, I think there's a bridge awaiting to be crossed. About the first bit of sunshine I've seen since being here. This is my last day, or second last day, but uh, last full day anyway. Uh, it's been spitting while I've been walking around doing a bit of shopping and just uh, checking out the area. So, the, yeah, the, the heavens haven't been particularly benign on this trip. Mind you, it could be pissing down uh, in Kawara Beach. We had uh, a few months soon downpours. I haven't been checking out. The weather down there, up there, should say, <laughs> down there, up there. Yeah. Anyway, in 24 hours, I'll be on a plane heading back home. Yeah, there's the uh, cultural center um, bus uh, stop, and I had to go, go to Rosa, so I had to get a lift, one of these lifts here. You go up there, go down here. Now, around to the left here, I think the, um, the south. Um, the Brisbane South uh, Railway Station is located. It's going to be interesting because my uh, air train uh, ticket um, is actually for the 1st of Feb, so I don't know it's going to cause a problem. I might have to get a train to Clayfield, which is closer to the airport, and give me a cheaper um, taxi fare if I need to do it that way. We'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. Apparently my um, my air ticket, my ticket for the train to the air train is going to be okay. I asked the woman at the, uh, behind the desk here at South Brisbane, but they're doing track work, so we're going to go to the next station, Roma Street, and get a bus to the um, to the airport. So, um, okay, <laughs> not what I expected anyway. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hey, the signage is okay for the air train. These are the third uh, lot of signs I've seen, so uh, uh, at least they're giving us information, so it's good. It looks all, all fine. Well, a bit of other confusion here. I went to the, uh, there's, a, there's a swipe on uh, unit down there for my go card, and I've had to use that for some reason, even though I've got the uh, air train ticket, so I'm not sure what the story is there. But uh, that's what the bus driver told me to do. It didn't seem to work, but he said something clicked, so it should be all right. So. What can you do? <laughs> I'll just go with the flow, I guess. Uh, well, whatever happens, it can't be more than a taxi anyway, so... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So, there's so much work happening in this city that this, they're rebuilding the whole of this uh, station by lots of things, so... Uh, yeah. Oh, well, at least I'm going to get to the airport one way or the other. That's the main thing. <laughs> oh, my God. What a saga at the airport and uh, everything seems to be fine with the ticket wasn't a problem with the different dates so that's a big relief that was keeping me awake last night and I'm at the domestic terminal I've got about two and a half hours for the flights there's no pressure whatsoever it should be fairly smooth sailing from here and hopefully I'll better get myself an uber Attention. drive uh, from Cairns airport uh, back home so it'd be nice to be back in uh, Kiwara Beach to Savo minutes before the um, I can actually uh, check in so pretty early you know it's only about five past eleven so half past eleven I'll be able to uh, get myself my boarding pass no rush I mean, it's a 1.30 flight so early is the time so this is the uh, terminal down here check in okay anyway it's all I should go run fairly smoothly from now on unless there's some major disaster awaiting you never know in this world. I've taken a long journey home. This is actually the 110 bus which goes to Palm Cove. Because uh, there's only one bus every hour on a Saturday. When I arrived back by plane, I just missed the uh, the one for Kawara Beach. What a surprise, <laughs> my luck. Not only that, 
when I got uh, attacked, I got a taxi to take me to Harley Davidson so I could um, I could catch the bus, and I forgot to take my to pull out my big bag that was in the boot, so I had to ring up Cairns Taxis, and luckily the the, uh, the taxi driver got back to me in about 10 minutes or so. The only major advantage of this is, apart from that, I've got to do a bit of walking, so I suppose it's good exercise. The only major advantage, I go past the bottle shop, so I might pick myself up a bottle of red, and I think I need a drink after all this. And I'll be so happy to go back to my home in uh, Kiwara Beach. Okay. Well, like I say, it's good exercise. You've got to be positive about it. <laughs> oh, what a, what a day. What a trip. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give, do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great.